Good morning, good evening, good noon, good night, wherever you are in the world. Thank you guys for being here with me, whatever time it is where you're at. I appreciate you. This message is going to be for the sign of Cancer or Cancer Cross Watchers. I was feeling you strongly last night. I was laying in my bed and just Cancer, Cancer, Cancer popped in my head and it was like put a message out for Cancer. So I was kind of meditating with you for a minute letting it sit in and what I was hearing was testing the romantic waters with you that's what someone's doing or what they're going to do right now it seems like it's uh, more so in someone's emotions someone's feelings in their mind their thoughts not so much what they're doing their actions yet at this point now this could be reversed this could be you but I'm gonna say it as if it's someone else. It's just easier to keep up with. But uh, yeah, testing the romantic waters is what we're getting for you guys today. I definitely didn't feel this person's energy in yours. That doesn't mean you don't deal with them on a daily basis, but I didn't get that really. I got that this was somebody on the outside that you, you don't deal with. I don't know why you guys don't have a connection at this moment, at this point in time or a relationship rather, like some type of relationship with each other. But I I just don't think that you do for this person. I actually felt like it was somebody trying not to feel something for you or for a while they've been trying not to feel something for you. They, it's, it's like a bit like running from their feelings, running from their thoughts, their emotions. Like you pop in their head almost, it's like, you know, they go about their life, they focus on their family, their friends, their work, some maybe a relationship they're already in. I don't know, I didn't get that strongly, but some. And then all of a sudden it's like, here you go, popping in their head again. It's like they can't get you out of their head. And at first, it's almost like someone dismissed how they were feeling about you because they didn't know that it was love, okay? That's what I'm getting. I, I don't think they knew it was love. I think they're just now realizing it. Like, oh my God, I, I think I'm, I at least love cancer, but like I actually may be in love with cancer. I may have fallen for them, you know? It seems unreal. It's like, is this real? It's a little confusing. They haven't known how to adjust to what they're experiencing when it comes to you. Definitely trying to avoid it and uh, act like it wasn't there. Maybe it would go away, you know, but it's like a limb of your body. It's like, oh, I'm just gonna ignore it. My eyes aren't here. My hair is not here. It's like, no, it's very much there. <laughs> it's like a part of them now, right? You are, you are a part of someone now. And you, you plant it. It's like you dug a little hole in their heart and you planted yourself in there, but you've been silently growing, you know? And, and they just didn't. You know, they, I guess they thought you were like a temporary situation or you wouldn't have really, if not a temporary situation, because it's not all cases, it's like they thought they could just pluck you out like gardening, but it's absolutely not. You just keep growing. You keep on coming back stronger and stronger. And that's where I was last night. So uh, it's safe to say it's possible there could be some type of reconciliation. It's possible that um, there will be communication in the near future. But for now, it's more so someone's kind of just nostalgic about you, thinking about you non-stop. And it's emotional, you know? I almost feel like they try not to even look at your social. Like if you have social medias, or I don't, I don't know what, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube even, something. Even if maybe they know where you live, it's like if they're in a close vicinity of being able to like drive past and perhaps you're working that day or perhaps you're home, they'll do it because they just can't help themselves. If they, they try, maybe they've even blocked you or something. I don't, I don't get that strongly, but some, just so they wouldn't like stare at you, just so they wouldn't like constantly obsess about what you're posting that day or what you're if you left the house that day, what you're wearing, are you at work, you know, maybe I can run into them, are they at the store, if you're in close proximity, if not, it's definitely an online thing, you know, I try, I try not to think about you, I definitely try, I try not to, I've tried not to feel anything for you, but here we are, <laughs> and 
yet again, I'm realizing that I can't get you out of my head or my heart. My, my mind is, it always, it always comes back to you every single time. It's a, it's a lot stronger love than someone realized they had and maybe even the strongest they've ever experienced with anyone because it's almost like it's just there no matter what, no matter what happens, no matter distance, no matter relationships with other people, no matter family. And that's another thing I got too, guys. I was strongly picking up their family. Now, I don't know what their family dynamic look, look, looks like. Some, they're very close to their family. Okay, some it's their friends, but they it's like their family, so their opinions really matter. Some, they're in a relationship, and they've considered a lot. Like, they've actually toyed and played with the idea in their head. They just haven't verbally said this, where it's like, what would life look like with cancer if I wasn't, you know, if I were to pursue something with them? What would that look like for me? It's almost like daydreaming in a way, fantasizing, that's the word. They've, they've fantasized about if they were with you, if they were your partner. If this is an ex and they've been with you before, they've considered getting back together, but there's drama on the outside. Maybe they're taken now, maybe you're taken now. For a lot of you, I don't think it's an ex. Some of you, yeah, but I don't think so for the majority. Not this person. I think it was a very quick, as far as it just, you know, it wasn't a very long lasting connection. I don't even know if y'all dated or did anything. It's like, which makes it even that much more intense is what I'm saying. If this is someone that you didn't have a relationship with yet, it's like, I shouldn't be feeling this strongly. And maybe that's why they've, they've you know, it's been so long you haven't heard from them or they've tried to just, you know, talk themselves out of their feelings, you know, because they're thinking like, it, this doesn't make sense. This could be a very logical person. And maybe they're like, well, this just isn't, like there's no reason for me to be this crazy over cancer, vice versa because you know we're not married we don't have children together some we've never dated some we've never even kissed we've never held hands we've never some we've never had sex like whatever it is you know but it's very much real and this is why they know it is because they didn't need any of those things to be in love with you um so i would say there's a little bit of sadness here because someone's torn, torn would be the word, torn on should I reach out? Should I even share what I'm feeling? Should I tell them? Would that even do anything? Would that just ruin everything, make a mess of shit? Would it be a safe space for me if I opened up? Like, you know, they even, I even feel like some of them want to open up, but they don't know if they want it to go anywhere because it's a big, it's a big change, you know? Like maybe this is someone who just wants to be single even. You know, this could be a reverse too. It could be both of you experiencing this, you and another person, but neither of you are telling each other. It's almost like you're telepathically communicating and both of you know you have feelings for each other, but it's like, we're not saying it. I also get that. Let me write some of this down for I forget, because you know I will. I'm gonna keep this rather short though, because for one, I think I got the majority of the message out. It's pretty much what I got last night, uh, unless something else comes up during this message. But also I don't get a lot of views yet for cancer on my videos. So I'm gonna keep it a little shorter, but of course if I do, I will put out more. It's just like, I mean, I think that's logical, right? It's just like if you go, like let's say you had a small business and you were selling um, brownies and cookies, but yet the town you lived in and that you set up shop in, there wasn't really a big um, need for that, you know, it wasn't a big demand. So you're not gonna sell something and, and you know spend your time and your money on something that isn't going to be purchased. You know, and in the end, it's a waste. It's kind of the same idea, you see what I'm saying? But when I get strongly called to do something, it doesn't matter what comes of it, I have to put it out. It's like, I can't go against my gut. And maybe that's part of the message. I mean, there's a reason I brought it up, right? Nothing is a coincidence. I don't believe in coincidence. Maybe someone, because I'm hearing demand, someone's thinking they, or maybe realizing that there's actually, or there was actually a role for you in their life. And at the time they just, maybe they saw it, 
but they didn't know what to do. Maybe they didn't see it and now they are. Either way, I don't know what happened before. All I know is what they're experiencing right now. I can feel it. It's like, uh, I know I wasn't really um, giving you much to work with before, if anything. And I didn't realize that there was a space for you in my life and that you and I met for a reason. And there are a lot of adjustments that I know I would have to make and perhaps even in your life. And that's a scary area for me because I know a lot of change would have to occur, you know, and that can be difficult for people and for myself is what I'm getting. Somebody's saying that could be difficult for myself, you know, and maybe there's a lot of money involved or a major move that would have to happen or children involved and their feelings. And um, maybe there's current partners for some of you. And so there's a lot to take into consideration and somebody didn't just, which I respect actually, that someone just didn't want to fly from their feelings. You know, they didn't just want to rush into something or make an impulsive move or decision because they feel something. They had to make sure it was right. That's actually very commendable because this is, I believe someone who's really serious when they decide something, they're not going to go back on it. And I think that they tried not to decide this. It wasn't even about making a decision about you. Like they can't help it, you know, or vice versa. Somebody here can't help it. It's like, I can't help falling in love with you like Elvis. <laughs> Somebody, something to do with Elvis that could be significant for someone. Memphis, Tennessee. Something to do with Elvis's age, possibly someone's older here. It could have to do with music. Someone could be a musician. It could have to do with travel. You think of Elvis, he traveled a lot. Maybe there is even a level for some, a select few, a level of, um, I'm hearing publicity. Maybe someone's afraid of publicity, like because maybe someone's in the public eye. That can also go. Someone could also be an entrepreneur here. They could be self-made. That could intimidate someone or maybe those people are i don't know there's a lot of levels to this i think i'm gonna leave it here we got what we needed this is what's going on for the cancer this is what i was feeling strongly last night and like i said i couldn't even help it you know um i even considered not putting this video out but it was such a strong realization not even a feeling it was a strong like i've got to do this i've got to or it's just gonna fester or something so here we are all right so um okay i'm hearing i don't have any expectations i'm just putting this video out maybe that's it maybe someone's going to put their feelings out there in the near future or at some point you know i wouldn't sit there and wait on it i would just go about your life and do you and if it happens it happens if it doesn't it doesn't you know every day and every second can change um, but at this moment someone is considering i guess like spilling their heart to you testing the romantic waters, like just kind of putting it out there. Maybe they don't go all in and tell you, you know, but maybe they tell you how they feel a little bit, just, just enough to test the waters and see, do you feel the same about me? Like, are you experiencing the same? Because I could also be experiencing all this and it could just be nothing. And you may not even return the feelings for me. So yeah. All right, guys, I love you so much. Thank you for being here with me today and I'll talk to you later. Bye.